So I just wanted to follow up on my last blog post talking about my usage of the Muse neurofeedback device. So this is what it looks like. Um, it basically, you know, on first look you'd think it goes like this, but actually it, uh, it goes like this here around the, the front of your head. There are four points where it reads your brain waves and then through the Bluetooth uh, earphones or any kind of earphones, it uh, feeds back what it reads in terms of your brain waves and then trains you to um, you know, calm your mind down and uh, empty your mind. So uh, what I wanted to do in this video is introduce the second item of meditation technology, which is this here. This is the Inner Balance from a company called HeartMath. Okay, and this is a, an HRV trainer. Now, before I start, there's going to be some uh, meditation purists out there that say meditation is all about uh, not using technology, disconnecting from technology and everything like that. Well, I have a answer to that there. I can also go to New Zealand by swimming, not using any technology, but uh, I would rather go there by plane. So uh, I have the same sort of philosophy when it comes to meditation and technology. I want the, the, med the technology to help me make sure I'm doing the right thing and not wasting my precious time on this planet. So I will use all, um, all available technologies at my disposal. And right now that uh, consists of the neurofeedback through this here, which reads your brain waves and feeds them back to you via audio and the inner balance by heart math. Okay, so what this is, this is a, an HRV trainer. Uh, it basically, like, unfortunately, it doesn't work at the same time as the as the Muse, uh, because only one active app can uh, kind of run at the same time. Uh, so what I do is I, I use the iPad. I plug it in into the iPad, and I run the Inner Balance software on the iPad, and I run the Muse software on the phone. Okay, and this thing here clips onto the ear. Okay, I fire up the app. Um, what it does is it starts reading my pulse. Okay, now it's not detecting my heart rate, it's detecting the, uh, the randomness of the gaps in between the heartbeats. Now this is pretty interesting. Uh, when you are in a relaxed, uh, relaxed state, your heart beats at a sort of random frequency. When you are in a stressed state, your heart beats at a regular frequency. So it's kind of preparing you for a fight or flight. So what the, uh, what the software does, I've got this, you know, I guess patented uh, algorithm that translates the heart rate variability or your, the measure of your stress versus re relaxation, parasympathetic, sympathetic nervous system, and trends it over a kind of graph which trains you to, um, you know, enter into the calm state and the relaxed state. So what I'm doing when I'm, when I'm meditating now is I have both of these things hooked up, okay? And what I'm doing is with the audio, I'm trying to empty my mind, relax my mind. And with the HRV, with the heart rate variability, I'm trying to um, kind of uh, relax my, my, you know, uh, my nervous system, my body. And I'm aiming for you know, up to 20 minutes of doing that and actually felt significant benefits. Like when I'm in a stress state or in a um, kind of, uh, you know, stuck in traffic or some, someone pulls out in front of me or something, you know, I can enter into a calm state easier. And I feel it's through the training, which I've been doing on the HRV uh, and the, the neurofeedback as well. So uh, that's a little intro there. Hope you find benefit from it. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up.